Hello students, in this video we will study the topic of isometric projection and we will draw a case of combination of two solids. Let us read out the question. A triangular pyramid of 30 mm base sides and 50 mm long axis is centrally placed on the top of a cube of 50 mm long edges draw the isometric view of the pair so as it is clear from the question that there is a cube of 50 mm side and above that cube a triangular pyramid is resting right so we need to draw the isometric view let us start so basically we will draw the cube first and then above that cube we will be placing the triangular pyramid since the base of the pyramid is a triangle all the sides of the triangle will not be the isometric lines therefore we will draw the actual view of this triangle first and then we will draw the isometric view of the pyramid triangular pyramid right so let us move to the AutoCAD so base side of the pyramid is equal to 30 mm so for this first of all I will go to polygon command this is polygon command number of sides 3 press enter go to edge method let us say this is the first point of the edge turn on ortho mode f8 and the side is equal to 30 mm press enter so this is the actual view of the equilateral triangle of the base of the pyramid let us increase the line weight let us make it equal to 0 0.60 right so I need to place this triangle above a cube on the top of a cube so what I'll do I'll just drop a perpendicular from the top That is, this is A. Control C, Control V. Let us, this is A. Control V, this is B. This is C. F3, press F3. Turn on ortho, turn off ortho mode. So this is the center of the triangle you can see. P type select this as the point style. Control V F3 let us deactivate. Let it be O. And let this be P. So now let us start drawing 
the cube. So one side of the cube is equal to 50 mm. Let us go to draft settings, DS, press enter. Go to snap and grid, select isometric snap. Press OK. Now that we have drawn the actual view of the triangle, let us draw the cube in isometric projection. Let us go to drafting settings, DS, press enter. Go to snap and grid, go to isometric snap, press OK. Line command. Let us start drawing. One side of the cube is equal to 50 mm. This is 50. This is 50. This is 50. And this is also 50. Then F5. Let us change the direction. 50 again. Change the direction. 50. And 50 line command 50 change the direction f5 again in this direction it is 50 right so this is the cube on the top of which we have to place the triangular pyramid Right, let us increase the line weight for this. Make it equal to 0 0.60. Let us draw the base of the triangular pyramid on the top of the cube. So before that, let us find the center of the top of the cube. Just click over here, this is the center. Now we will copy this line, this perpendicular and we will place it at the center. Let us place it over here at the center. Now this line that we have copied from the actual view of the triangle this is the perpendicular so I just want to make this line inclined at 30 degree like this I want to make it at 30 degree so to make it inclined at 30 degree I'll have to rotate it at minus 60 degree right so in the in the clockwise direction I'll have to rotate it let us go to rotate command this is rotate command select the object this is the object press enter base point this is the base point and enter the angle as minus 60 minus 60 and press enter so there you go so this is the line that has been rotated or the, the angle with the horizontal for this line is equal to 30 degree now let us draw the base of the triangle right turn on ortho mode f8 so in this direction it is equal to 15 right and in the other direction also it is equal to 15 Right, turn off ortho mode F8, join it with the top, and this also join with the top. Right, so this is it. Then let us increase the line weight for all these lines. Let us make it equal to 0.60. Now the height of the triangular pyramid it was equal to 50 so just click over here turn on ortho mode 
this is equal to 50 from the center now I have got the apex and, and I'll be joining the apex with all the corners of the base right so this is let us turn off ortho mode click over here let us delete this line then click over here click over here and then click over here select the slot edges increase the line weight make it equal to 0.60 so if you see the view already it has been drawn but you can change these lines either you delete these lines or you change these lines into hidden so let us make this hidden you can delete this line also so for this I'll first of all trim like I'll trim this line draw this line again TR press enter twice let us trim this also and you can delete this line so from this corner join with this point over here now this line this line and this line these will be directly these will not be visible to us so let us make these equal to 0.35 thickness let us load hidden lines go to hidden line press ok ok select these and select hidden line so these have been actually converted into hidden line but these hidden lines are not visible therefore I'll go to LT scale command right LT scale press enter let the scale be equal to 10 so now these are visible right let us dimension the figure go to linear dimensioning this is equal to 50 again linear dimensioning from the top again this is equal to 50 then go to aligned dimensioning click over here click over here since this is the isometric line so this will be equal to 30 right now let us change the angles go to dim edit command dim edit the center go to oblique select the object so this is the object this is the second object let us make the angle as 30 degree so for these two and then for this we made it again oblique Select the object, so select the dimension of 30 mm, press enter. So, oblique angle here it is equal to 90 degree, press enter. So, this is equal to 90. That's it, this is the solution to this question. So, I suppose this is clear to you. Thank you very much.